In this final section of the course, I just wanted to give the VB scripters among you some pointers on things which aren't immediately obvious. And these are setting variables that persist between um, the events, uh, just reminding you about runtime parameters, and also getting SysPro setup options from the core product. Um, regarding the variables, the way that the um, apps work is that when an event occurs on the UI, it will pass the parameters into the on user event, which we've seen. It'll run the code. When it's finished running the code, the code will die down and the control will be returned back to the UI. Another event occurs, the VB script fires back up again, goes to the on user event and runs and it works perfectly all right. The only downside of the, an architecture like that is that if we set a variable in the first instance, it is not available to us uh, or, the, or its content is not available to us in the second instance, its content is reinitialized. So to go overcome this, um, the SysPro have given us two callouts, one called set variable, which allows us to set um, any variable name without like, uh, it has to be a string and it has a maximum length of 255 characters, but you can have as many as you like. Um, and you can get that variable by name um, in another instance of, of running the code. Um, so we'll have a look at that. The runtime parameters is a call out called get app parameter. Again, it's a single parameter that can be on the runtime command when you know on the menu or when you're running it or anything like that. Um, and we can get that back into the code. And then finally, just having a quick look at how do you get hold of SysPro setup options uh, in your code. So let's just have a quick look. So what I've done is knocked up a quick a little app. It's uh, very simple. It's just got a toolbar on it with one button on it so that we can press the button and fire up some VB script. Uh, so let's go and have a quick look at the VB script. So we've to start our normal constants to make it more readable. But the key thing here now, uh, here is an example of a call out setting a variable called my name. And obviously I've got my surname in there. Now what is happening here is a set variable stores this information outside the VB script in the running app itself. Um, and then if we want to retrieve it, we use a get variable and it retrieves it from the running app, puts it into our VB script. And in that case, we get persistent variables. So let's have a quick look at where we find these. These are in the common callouts. We scroll down here a little bit. Um, and there we've got our set variable. If we just double click it, the code will go in there. And you can see that we put a variable name. It can be anything and any string that you like. It's, it must be a string. So, OK, so just get rid of that. Uh, have a look at our rest of our code. We're looking for toolbar event. We detect the um, a button being pressed. First thing I'm doing is, is, is looking up the if there are any runtime parameters and checking if there are or not. If there are, then I'll display them. If not, then we ignore it. Um, and then I'm just banging out a message telling you uh, what the value is in the variable, showing you that we set it up here, but we can retrieve it. And there, if you look there, that's how you get the variable there. And then finally, uh, and no, no least important is the ability to get at um, the SysPro setup options. Here's an example, for instance, of me getting the ARS module, the accounts receivable module uh, setup options. And if you look um, here, um, you'll find that um, there is a get setup options call out. If we double click it, you get a list of all the modules in SysPro. And if we choose one like a bill of materials, it'll pop it in there. You can see um, our call out, get set of options, and it puts a three character module name in for it. You get an XML string back, which you can then load into a document uh, object model and query or do anything you like. That's clearly hugely important if you are a partner writing maybe something for multiple customers or anything like that. So let's see this running. First of all, I'm just going to simply press the run. OK, so here we are. We're just going to press our, our button. So there's my variable. Now, remember, we'd set it in on the initialization, and now it's being retrieved back on the press. Um, and there is the XML for the ARS uh, module 
um, setup options. If we do the same again, we'll just close this. And this time we will run the application with a parameter. Okay, so we'll just simply press this. And now we can see the runtime parameter of Andy, my variable, Latham, and then obviously our setup options again. So I hope that gives you a, a practical example of how you can persist variables between uh, calls or events uh, within the app designer. Um, okay, we'll move on.